Yo, what is up ladies and gentlemen, it's your boy Mumble Eat. Welcome back to another video and it is finally here. This is gonna be the ultimate guide on how to grind the premium mixed league upgrade. If you are new to the channel, welcome. If you are in stream and I sent you to this video, here it is. We're gonna walk through each and every single part, different ways I'd recommend grinding depending on your budget or your goal. We're gonna show you all the different things that you can put these League SBC cards into um, outside of just League SBCs, because this grind is huge. It can make you a lot of coins, it can get you a lot of fodder, depending on what your goal is. So if you do enjoy, feel free to smack the like button, subscribe if you're new. If you have any questions, comments, or if you have a different method you're using that you think would be better or different, let me know down in the comments below. Without further ado, let's get it. So how many coins do you need to do the League SBC grind? If you look at Footbin, it's going to range in price of how much this whole SBC costs. It's saying the average is around 30k, but we're going to show you how to do it for way cheaper, where that's not really going to be the amount you ever pay. Um, and prices do vary, so keep that in mind. So the section I like starting with is the Libertadores and Sudamericana. You'll see here in a second why um, it's so important to me. But if you want to take a screenshot of this team, if you've never done it before, um, you need 11 different teams. These are the teams that I'll usually go with. The golds are kind of set in stone. You can be a little bit more flexible if you want to, and I'll show you some different ways to do that. Uh, but you're going to have some different variety in terms of prices for these teams. For example, this guy we always like using as our left back, um, Fabra. He is from the Boca Juniors. Usually you can pick these up for 600 to 800 coins. But again, I'm not going to get stuck up on price because those things change. Prices are important as much as it is understanding how much you're spending if your goal is trying to get that back or get as much back of that as possible. That's what we want to try to figure out. So I'll give you another example. Another guy who's cheap is Perez, River Plate. Um, but then we have the people that we absolutely love. And you're going to be confused why we love him because he's expensive. This is Pizzini. Um, Francisco Pizzini. He plays for Teleres and the Libertadores. And he is pretty expensive. As you see here, he is 1.9. And we're going to show you why this is a big deal. Um, this is a way we can make a lot of coins. It's known as the Gold Libertadores method. It is taking the players in the Libertadores that have a lot of value like this. Not only buy nulling, you can snipe them for less than that if you can pick them up. But what we like to do is a thing called the compare price method, where we compare price within the SBC solution. And you'll usually see open bids here that are less than the buy now. Now, for me, I'm doing this in the middle of the night uh, for UK people. So there's not going to be a lot of cards on the market. But if you do this like an hour after new content, especially when there's a lot of golds in promo packs tradable, you'll see that there's a ton of 600 to 1,000 open bids that you can try to win a lot of. Now, when we made this video talking about how to do the gold lid method, we were making about 300 to 500 coins on cards like Pizzini. Usually the higher buy now they have, the more coins you can make on the card. So even though he's expensive, Think about it like this. If we spent 1.9 on the buy now we did for that individual card, the next run through, any one of these I win, I can chuck it in my club and he only cost me 1,500, aka save me 400 coins. Or if we want to, let's say, bid on like 10, we want to store one to use for the next SBC and sell the other nine, we can make a ton of profit for those players and that can help pay for other players in the SBC. Because remember, we are trying to bring the whole cost down Let's say this was about 10K because I don't know what the exact cost is. You can kind of keep an eye on your coins if you want to do it. But my goal would be if I'm trying to make sure I'm not running out of coins, I'm going to make that back plus some more if I'm trying to make profit. Now, there's another part of this as well, and it's the silver section. As you see here, you only need eight gold players, which means you can use bronzes or silvers in the rest. However, I usually like using silvers. Um, bronzes might sometimes not give you the 74 rating. It usually can, but I just like doing the Silver Libertadores method, which we're going to explain right here. These three cards. Does it have to be those exact three? Nope. Doesn't necessarily need to be. I just kind of use whatever I have, and this is the way we kind of go about doing it. So if we go to quality, Comedy Bowl Libertadores, and we go to the maximum buy now, we're going to see how much Silver Libs go for within the hour. Now, you might be a little confused on you see the same card type here and wondering what is a bronze, silver, or gold. It is rating based. So bronzes are max 64. So anything 64 and below is a bronze. Silver rating is 65 to 74. So anything within that range. So like this card right here, 500 coins. He is a silver. He's a 69. So looks like silvers are going for at least 500 within the hour. 
we are going to then potentially pick these up for less than the buy now because logic says if they're 500 coins we can snipe them for 500 coins or less and whatever we pay for that we can put into the sbc however if we're trying to make coins and or make the sbc cheaper what i like to do is put in less than the buy now and try to pick them up for that so um for me, I like to do a 250 minimum price if we're looking for mainly the silvers because these count as silver rares. 250 is usually the start price there. You don't need to put that if you don't want to. Uh, but then max price, we're going to do 300. And we're going to see if we can win cards for 300 or 350. So depending on the time of day you're doing it, again, prices might be different or there might be a lot of cards or a lot less cards. You might get outbid on a ton. You might win a ton. That is completely up to you. But hypothetically, let's say we win these for 300 coins. That's dang near almost half the price off. 500, half would be exactly 250. But if we can win these for 300, that's a lot of coins we're saving, not only for the three that we're going to use in this SBC, but think about if we just stock like 100 plus in a club or however many we want to use uh, for future run throughs, we're saving a lot of coins. Now, if you're low on coins, if you have, let's say, less than 50K, you can use this as a trading tip. Put the three into the SBC that you want to use. And the rest you can flip for profit. And that profit, again, can help you pay for those other cards. Here's an example. We lost all these because they are going pretty high. Uh, but we did win one for 700 coins or 300 coins that's 70 rated. This is one we can be able to store in our club. Or if we already have it, I can flip it for profit. Let's take a look real quick. Do we have them? Yep, we have them already. I'm going to flip them for profit. It looks like he might go for 550 within the hour. We're going to list that if it sells for that. We made 250 coins on that card. Not too bad. Another note on this section, two things real quick. This is an example of all the cards I have in my club that are silver lib. These are ones that we won on bid today. I started with zero in my club. This is about, I would say, probably 15 minutes of bidding. Got me basically all these cards. So it doesn't take a long time to do it. And the ones you win, like we said, can make you really good coins. Now, let's say you want to run through a couple SBCs a day you're not going to need a lot of these cards. So every single card you see here is just a lot of profit. And that's going to add up very quickly to help you go into the positive coin direction. Another thing you'll notice too, is depending on the silvers or bronzes you choose to use, you might get additional chem that you don't need. So we only need 15 chem on this. It says we have 27. Let's say we didn't want to use a Pizzini who was 1.9k. Let's say we wanted to save coins, but we still need a gold player that is lower price than that. If you're running out of teams that have low price golds, we can start using Sudamericanas as well. So what you can do is a couple different things. You can go to quality, comedy bowl Sudamericana, or you can go to the squad, go to the concept menu and look for gold specifically. We're just going to see how much we could get one for. So if we go to the market right now, looks for 750. That one's expiring. If we go to 650, does it pop up? Not really seeing one. 750, we said it was expiring. If we go to 700, is there one going within the hour? maybe towards the 59th minute, um, but we know for sure we can pick up one for 750. That doesn't seem like that big of a deal, but we're saving a thousand plus coins if we're using that instead of Pizzini. It's little things like that, that maybe you're saving a thousand coins here, but if you're doing the SBC 10 times a day, that is 10,000 coins a day minimum, that throughout the course of a week, throughout the course of a month, you can see the amount of coins you're saving and how many more SBCs you can do. That is a big deal. So here's the pack you get from that section, Gold Players Pack, Untradeable. As you see here, we got a bunch of League SBC cards, including a Gold Sudamericana. We're going to use that on the next run through to save coins. We see a lot of Serie A ones, some Prem ones, but you also see an off-league player. So anytime you get these off-league Gold Commons, there's a few things you can do with them. So let's kind of give you an idea of what we do with those before we move on to the next section. Now, if it's your first time doing the SBC, and you've only gotten a couple of these commons, it might be hard to do so. But if you start going through a lot of times and you get a lot of these off leagues, what I like to do is find SBCs we can put them in. Right now for the next 11 days, we have a thing called the Trophy Crafting Upgrade where you get a 80 plus double. This, you only need one gold rare and the rest can be gold commons. I would usually chuck my off league cards into here. You can use more gold rares than just one if you want. It's up to you. Um, but then I chuck all my untradeable gold commons that I'm not going to use into here. That just gets us bonus fodder for either potentially boards and walkouts, informs team of the season cards if it's team of the season, or just some higher end league SBC cards if we need a higher rating for the Prem and La Liga section. Like once we get to here, you're going to see we need a 79 rated. That's an excellent way to get you 80 plus rated 
Prem La Liga players to help that out. So where we left off, I had a duplicate untradeable of Tobka here. Now, what do you do with this? This is personally where the fun part comes in of the League SBC. We're not going to waste this. We're going to put this right into the League SBC. He's a Serie A center mid. We already have a ton of untradeable stuff in the club ready to go. So if we go into the Serie A Bundesliga section, I already put this together. Here it is. We got the chem. Did not have to buy a single card here. This is all the stuff I had from the League SBC grinds. Already constantly going through and getting these untradeable. However, let's say you didn't have everything. Let's say you still need to buy some cards. Same logic applies to the same way we did the Libertadores section. If you need to buy, let's say, three golds, and let's say it costs you like 2,000 coins, if you want to try to make those coins back, do something in between to try to make that back. For me, the Libertadores silvers, the flipping of those, pays for any additional golds I need to buy is the way I view it. And if I'm doing that SBC after SBC, or making sure I'm covering the cost each run through, I make sure I'm at least break even. But this pack is a tradable one. It's a prime mixed players pack tradable. So no matter what we get here, anything here is just additional profit. Now, if you don't want to do that trading in between and you want to risk it, let's say you want to save a bunch of time without doing that trading, this would be where having more coins comes in handy. If you want to take that risk, those couple of thousand coins, it is up to you. Um, I've packed a lot of walkouts in this pack, a lot of boards as well. Looks like we got none of them there, but especially during team of the seasons and future promos, informs, things like that, you're going to get a lot of things of value. So here's an example. We got a league SBC, um, Syria. We got a Prem one. We got a Turkish league here. I'm not going to use the Turkish league. So I'll list those on the market. Um, currently gold commons aren't super high. Probably could get 400 on these within the hour. Another way to make a lot of coins too over the course of time is if you notice gold commons are cheap. If they're going for 400 within the hour or not even selling for that, instead of selling it right away, if your goal is a long-term play or week in, week out, making the most coins on League SBCs, why not wait until we get a player pick or a repeatable SBC that usually sends these up to 500 coins, 600 coins, uh, potentially higher, maybe a marquee matchups, you never know. It's things like that that, again, one card by one card doesn't seem like much, like 100 coins doesn't make sense. But we're talking about doing this grind over and over and over. That's going to be hundreds, if not thousands of cards throughout a week, a month, depending on how much you grind. So that's all important. Same goes with silver rares. Same goes with silver commons and bronzes. So silver rares right now are a little bit down. I think they're going for 350, 400 within the hour mainly. There's times when silver rares go to 600 plus, potentially 500, 600 maybe, whenever we get a new icon SBC. And there's that section that you need a full silver rare team uh, to do the icon. And then same goes for bronze rares. So if we want to sell those right now, we could. I'm just going to stock those in my club um, so we can make more coins on them later. Again, if you're low on coins, you might want to sell them now to um, fund your run if you're low or do that trading in between. Um, same goes with the bronze rares here. Bronze rares, these might go for 200 within the hour. We could list them here. I already have other tradable ones in the club, so I'm going to do that. Um, but if I didn't, I would just chuck them in the club, wait till we get a new icon SVC, and usually these can push upwards to 500 coins. That's just an easy way of making additional profit. Another way of saving coins and or making additional coins can be the Prime Bronze Upgrade and the Prime Silver Upgrade. These are better versions of the upgrades we've had in the past. For the Prime Bronze Upgrade, all you need is 11 Bronzes. I usually throw in Bronze Commons, but if you get Bronze Rares untradeable too and you want to check them in there, by all means, feel free to do so, especially non-league SBC cards. I get five rare silvers in return. And if you land, like, let's say, a Bundesliga Serie A card or a Lib card, you can chuck those into those SBCs to make it even cheaper. If not, let's say it's an off-league card, you can put those then into the Prime Silver upgrade, which is 11 silver players into here for six common gold players. Same thing applies here. You can get league SBC cards out of these. You could get potentially informs. If a team of the season is a base common gold, you could pack a team of the season in this. But worst case scenario, if you get cards that you don't want to put into the SBC or it doesn't fit, we have things like marquee matchups that has tradable packs that if you put enough of those in, you can get tradable packs that have you actual coin value. That could actually be a lot of coins. Same thing applies to SBCs that are expiring soon. By the time you're watching this, it might be gone. But there was a 50k pack. It's called Throwback Winners. Three days left. So if you're watching this early, maybe you see it. But this is a tradable 50k pack in the end. You're seeing a bunch of sections in here with tradable packs as well. 
things like this people don't always think about when it comes to the league SBCs, but you can take those additional cards that you don't need and put them into this to generate a lot of coins. Again, might not get the best every single pull, but how often do you think someone gets a team of the week over the course of doing these nonstop? How many times do you think someone packs an icon randomly? We have people in our Discord constantly get in promo cards. Um, there's a guy named Dante who's a YouTube member, super big guy in the community. He has the best pack luck I've ever seen in League SBCs. He gets that stuff all the time. I'm extremely jealous. All right, now to the next section. This is the League One and Era to These. This is where people will have mixed opinions in terms of how they want to go about it. I usually like using Era to These, and I don't usually use League One. If you find a League One card you want to do or a team you want to do, that's up to you. Um, the teams I like using, you can always look at different solutions on Footbin if you want to find ones that work for you. FC20, NEC, um, Vitesse, and Hiravine are relatively decent for me. Um, as long as the team has some rares which are needed, as long as they have potentially a couple golds to help with the rating, along with the silvers not being too expensive. The reason why I like Air Devies is there's a ton of bronzes that make it extremely cheap to finish this out. So this SBC, again, not super expensive. A lot of these players, um, I'm getting under 1,000 coins. So we're really not spending too much on them. And then these last three, as you see here, I put in 200. Um, I can finish this out and I have plenty of rating here. Now, same thing we did with the other sections of the SBC. Depending on how many coins you have, this is where the part of the grind comes in. We get another tradable pack here. I could take whatever the cost of this SBC is and say to myself, okay, what is my goal? If my goal is to potentially make profit no matter what, maybe before I open this pack, I do some lib flipping real quick with the silver libs. Again, store more in my club that I want to use for the SBC the next run through. And the rest I sell on for profit to help pay for these cards. Or you could take the total cost of this individual SBC, whatever it costs you to do it, and you have this tradable jumbo gold pack that you can open up. And the way I view this then is if you want to, again, save more time, you open this up, you calculate how many coins you could potentially make off this jumbo gold pack. And if it's higher than the amount you spent on the SBC, congratulations, you're on profit. Um, if it's not, let's say it's a thousand or 2000 coin difference, you can then trade the difference. Or if you're fine being down that much, you can be down that much. Regardless, you're doing it at a discount compared to what the SBC is. Um, but this is where we're going to have a couple different trades of thought as well. I just opened this up. I see we got a League SBC card here. I see we got another one here, another one here, another one here. And then the Portugal ones, um, the Liga Nos, aka Liga Portugal, I will probably just sell onto the market. But this is where we have kind of a split and you can kind of go either direction. If you are low on coins and you want to make sure you're making the most coins possible, I would sell these tradable cards. No matter how much you can get for them, I would sell them. If we can get 500 for this guy, sweet. But if you're good on coins and you want to speed up how much you can do League SBCs and how often, I'm usually going to put these right back into the club. Now I usually just sell the leagues that I'm not using. So for example, we'll go in here, that's 400. Like I talked about before, if I'm trying to maximize the amount of coins I'm making, maybe we don't sell them for 400. Maybe we wait till they're higher with a repeatable SBC. Um, for me, I like getting rid of the contracts. Usually get rid of those. Position modifiers, W. These I think are maybe like 1500 If they don't sell for that, we'll put it down to like 1200 But easy coins back right there. You can always check kits to see if they have value. You never know. You can list these. Um, you might get some to sell. If not, you can quick sell it. Fire, you can check to see if these base stadiums um, colors have any value. Some of these have crazy ones out of nowhere. Always just kind of check to see what has value. You never know for sure. If you want to list those, you can. Otherwise, you quick sell it. You get some coins back. Here's a League SBC card. For La Liga, we'll chuck him up for like 850. See if we can get some coins out of that. Yeah, the rest I'm going to chuck in my club. Looks like we get a 565 coins back in terms of the quick sell value. Um, if we sold these golds on, we'd probably get a lot more coins back. But again, I'm going to use those on future runs. I'm going to store them in my club. I'm good with that. A quick note as well, if you choose to do a specific team, and you're going to do that team over and over, Depending on the time of day you do it, if it's like late UK time and a lot of people are asleep and there's not a lot of cards on the market, you're running through five to 10 times, you might be buying all the cards for the same team, raising the buy now price. So it might be smart to switch between two or three teams. But like for me, if I'm sticking to air to V's, that means I don't need the league one cards. I can consider those off leagues or cards I'm not using for league SBCs. Feel free to chuck those into other repeatable SBCs. Player picks if they're out, we have the 80 plus double. I'll put League One cards into that, no problem.
So now we are to the final section, the Premier League and La Liga section. As you see here, these are all the cards I already have from the Prem. We don't need to really buy any more. We need that 79 rated, so I'm going to go to La Liga. Um, we're going to see if we can use cards in here to help us get the rest of that rating. Because I do have a silver in, which might make it a little bit difficult uh, to get that 79. Let's check. 78 there. Can we do that? Nope. Can we do that? Boom. There we go. 15 chem, 79 rating. We have the four rares needed. Uh, players from one club, max one. We're good to go. Again, if you don't have all these cards, but you have quite a few of them, buy whatever you need to finish it off. Um, the way to get a lot of good chem on here, if you're struggling, is if it's Prem, usually English in the right position gives you a lot more chem. Same way if you do La Liga, you do Spanish. A lot of those, if they're in the right position, you get more of those links and it's easier to get done that way. So instead of buying every single position where you might be overpaying a little bit, look for very common positions, usually center backs, goalkeeper, quite a few players in there. If you can get them on the same nationality, that'll help you get chem pretty easily. But yeah, that is the SBC dudes. That is it in terms of that process specifically for those sections. We have more stuff to cover, but you are done. You can choose to then, again, save these packs, open them up. It's up to you. I'm going to be doing this nonstop throughout the course of Team of the Season and future promos. So whatever we pack, we just put right back in. So I'm going to open these up and then we just keep the grind going over and over. So yeah, that is the League SVC grind. We can take a lot of those boards and walkouts and stuff that we get in there. We can complete Icon SVCs when they're out. We already did the 90 plus Icon twice. And if you look at our coins, we are down to 9,607,000. It's not going to be exact. Um, it looks like we went down about 13K or so um, from when we started the SBC. But a good thing to remember is we did put stuff in the club. We did put stuff on the transfer list. Some of it did sell. And then we have all those silver libs that I still have in my club to sell. This is another bonus tip I'm going to give you. If you got to this far in the video, this is going to make you a lot of coins on a daily day, day to day basis. If you do this daily, um, we're going to go to the Libertadores cards in our club. Remember we had all those silver ones. Usually when you pick them up during the day, um, it's a lot easier to win them. There's a lot more on the market. Sometimes they're lower in price. Other times they might not be depending on the situation. But all these I'm going to sell on for even more profit than I was picking up during the day. So all these that I didn't use, I could keep some. Maybe if I see a lot from the same team, I keep some from the same team so I can use them in different run-throughs. The rest I'll sell on for profit and that will take me over my total that I started with. If you're doing that on a day-to-day -day basis, little things like that, it adds up over time in that positive direction. But me, I have had the, I have a really good problem. I'm never going to run out of coins. If I did this way for the rest of the year, my number would keep going up. I would have 10 million plus, 11 million plus, 12 million plus. I want to eventually work my way to zero. So if you see me do this on stream, I'm going to be using a lot of the fodder that we pack from League SBCs to build up more icons, make content throughout these promos. Then if we need to buy out some players here and there, we'll do so. Same with League SBCs. If I'm going to speed up the process, maybe I do less silver lib bidding or gold lib bidding. I do more just buying out the cards if I have some missing. Uh, you, if you have less than 50K and you're finding you're running low on coins, might not have that luxury, but you can start from step one, do the silver lib bidding, work your way up, make those liquid coins. Heck, even just treat it like a trading tip. Another way I kind of tell you guys you can run this is before you even start doing the league SBC, if you want to use silver libs or any other trading tip you come up with or that we have, and you want to make yourself 25 to 50K a day, um, heck, it doesn't even need to be that much. Make yourself a little bit more than 10K a day if you don't have a lot of coins. Very easy to do. It doesn't take that many libs to do so. If you do that on a day-to-day -day basis over the course of a week, a little more than 10K, 10 times 7 is 70K. You do that for, let's say, 10 days, you got yourself 100K. Now, do these methods the way we showed you, or if you wanted your own variations, don't get below 100K. Or maybe get down to 50K, but don't get below 50K. Always keep a certain amount of coins. And if your goal is to go up over time, slowly start trading, slowly start making that SBC a little bit cheaper by having those untradables ready to go. Put them in those upgrade packs, work through the whole process, and you will be good to go. If you have any questions, feel free to let me know. That's basically it, man. Uh, I hope you guys enjoy this method as much as I do. It is an insane grind. I know there's a bunch of different people um, who have opinions on how to do League SBCs. I know some people like doing the small League SBC, the mix. Um, another thing you could do with our grind is you could put all the 
mixed league SBC players in. Uh, so, for example, did I pass it already? Where is it? This mixed league upgrade. You could put all these leagues that we get from our league SBC grind. If you pack MLS and championship players, let's say untradeable, throw those in there too. By all means, feel free to do that. Same with these sections. Go ahead, do that if you want some bonus packs. Yeah, hopefully you did enjoy. If you did, hit the like button, subscribe if you're new, and I'll catch you next time. It's been your boy Mumble Elite. I'm out. God bless.